the volcanoes? Huh? Well, not all of them, but Most I've been to most of them, so oh. it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Ready? Yep, so <laughs> in Cuenca, I had read on blogs and stuff that you have to be really careful about the taxis because they'll try to just make up a price for you. And especially at night, and you also need to make sure you take an actual taxi, like ones that have the letters on the side and numbers, not the illegal taxis. So anyway, I get to the bus station at like 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning. I think I was, oh, it's coming from Chimborazo, so I had hiked all day, tired. There's like only two taxis at the place. And I go over there, I show the guy the directions, I like told him where I needed to go, everything. And I was like, it's okay, you know where we're going? He said, yeah. We get in the car, he starts driving, and I was like, please start the meter. He did. How do you say that in Spanish? Um, I just say meter, por favor. <laughs> if you point to it and say, please start it, like, they'll do it. But, and so he did. Um, and I also knew that at night it was, was going to be more. So it started at a dollar instead of 50 cents or whatever it starts at. So anyway, we get to my hostel, and it said $1.40. And I only had $1.50. That's all I had, right? I Honestly, all I had. But it's over the amount that you had to pay. Well, yeah, it was. So I give him, I get out of the taxi, and thankfully he got my suitcase out, too, before I paid. And then he said, $2. And I said, no, it says $1.40. Because I was going to give him the $1.50 and just let him, you know, keep the extra and... I really didn't have any more money. And he said, no, 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 it's $2. And I said, no, it says un dollar cuarenta centavos, like todo. And he's like, well, it's in the nighttime, it's late, like you have to pay extra. And I said, no. And then I was like, no tengo dinero. And I like showed him my wallet and I was like, I have no more money. Like this is all of my money. I'm giving it to you right now. And he was so mad. He was cussing at me and like walked with, like walk, followed me to the hostel. Thankfully, the hostel owner was waiting for me and like let me in and made him leave and whatever. But, whoo, it was not pleasant. Wow, not how pleasant. How can they do that? I mean, they, they can and not even tell you and after you get there and say you owe me more. So I mean, I t wrong. yeah, he was in the wrong. I talked to other people about it and they're like, no, if it says 140, it's 140. Like if he wanted to add extra, he should have started it but he already started it at a dollar yeah. it's a five minute and ride you had to ask him to turn it on so yeah 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 so you have to be and then guayaquil as well you have to be really careful with the taxis because you have to tell like you have to negotiate before you get in the taxi or else they will just make up a price for you when you get there